fans, it is time for the main event of Back to School 9. Mike Jeffries just rubbing his hands in glee. He's happier than Sean Gibson when he got that autograph 8x10 of Tony Khan. He's getting his dream match, Brent Banks versus Young Jay Lee. This is a dream match. Now, Brent Banks showing some attitude to the Barry Wrestling Faithful. He hasn't been here in four years. We might have missed him, but I don't think he's missed this crowd. Well, Brent, Brent Banks was the man in Barry Wrestling. You called him Barry's best bout machine. Month in and month out, he delivered. And he goes away for a little bit, and suddenly everyone's talking about Young Jay Lee. Suddenly you're talking about Young Jay Lee, not this is Brent true. Banks. Uh, Brent getting a rise out of one of the fans. Well, nobody is a bigger Brent Banks fan than Brent Banks. I will give him credit. He looks like a million bucks. The man is money. He looks like a million bucks. He wrestles like 10 million bucks. Every time Brent Banks steps into the ring, you know you are getting something special. But the same can be said about this man, the longest reigning Three Pistols champion ever. Absolutely. Young Jay Lee, back-to-back -back match of the year winner. He's just, he's incredible. The fans love him, he loves the fans. And every time we see him, somehow, that match eclipses the last one. I don't know if Vegas is laying odds on Barry Wrestling Match of the Year yet. It's done. It's done. This one's got to be the, the favorite. They closed the book. Young Jay Lee has suffered a loss. And Diamond Dream, how long has it been since he was the Three Pistols champion? We're going at 450 days now? 453 days, an unprecedented title reign, and every one of his defenses has somehow managed to set the wrestling world on fire. We are looking at two of the greatest technical and aerial wrestlers we have ever seen in Barry Wrestling, and they're about to collide. If you have not seen a Brent Banks or a Myung Jae Lee match before, you are in for a treat. Myung Jae Lee trained at Grapplers Anonymous, a gym that has also produced the likes of Kevin Blackwood and Daniel Garcia. And Myung Jae Lee, for those of you who don't know, he is one of the reasons that we are on IWTV. Barry Wrestling Management said, you know, we didn't get good footage when Daniel Garcia was here. We didn't get good footage when Kevin Blackwood was here. Some of the other ones we've had in the past. Brent Banks. And Brent Banks. We are not missing out on getting young Jay Lee footage here at Barry Wrestling because he is going to be, he's going to be somewhere else in a couple of years. Hopefully still here as well. He might still be our three-year pistol champion a couple of years the way he's been going. But right now, this is not about the future. This is not about the past. This is about one match for the Three Pistols Championship. Brent Money Banks 
challenging Young J. Lee. Tied from the middle of the ring. Brent Banks having a conversation with some of our fans here. Young J. Lee forcing Banks into the corner, and you can see as they are in the corner the reach and length advantage as Brent Banks just slapped Young J. Lee in the face. Brent Banks has a wingspan that's about seven feet wide. He could nearly reach across the ring and slap Young J. Lee if he wanted to. Brent Banks asking for silence from the crowd. Diamond Jim, as you alluded to, Brent Banks has not been here since Myung J. Lee made his debut. He has not seen how this Barry Wrestling crowd reacts to the Three Pistols champion. And he seems a little bit thrown off, a little confused by how behind Myung J. Lee the FLCC arena is. Well, quite frankly, he seemed a little thrown by the reaction when he walked out. Brent Banks, love him or hate him, was always the wrestler you wanted to see in Barry Wrestling. And... Uh, the crowd was not excited to see him walk through the, the, those curtains. They were very excited to see young Jay Lee. Well, out of sight, out of mind, Brent Banks again. It's been four years. It was before COVID the last time he wrestled here. We have a lot of fans in the arena that have not seen a Brent Banks match live. Well, that's on them because if you go and seek out Brent Banks matches, you will be treated to some of the best professional wrestling on the planet. He is money. He is the man. And he's the greatest challenge that young Jay Lee has ever faced in his legendary title reign. Well, Banks there showing why he's so good there with that vicious strike to the face of young Jay Lee. Banks is the total package. Incredible striker, incredible athleticism and high flying abilities, and not afraid to take a shortcut. Shoulder block from Brent Banks. But young Jay Lee, no slouch. One of the best pure strikers we have here in Barry. Submission specialist and. Diamond Jim, the most resilient wrestler we've ever had here? No doubt. Yeah, that's absolutely the case, Mike. But I don't know if he can match up with Brent Money Banks. Banks taunting the crowd. Drop down, leapfrog from Brent Banks. Young Jay Lee sending Lee, uh, Banks in, in a deep arm drag from Lee and a second one. Banks a little bit shook right now. Young Jay Lee going for a monkey flip. Launching Brent Banks across the ring. Young Lee's going to have to use his quickness. Going for a wheelbarrow into a sunset flip, into a double stomp from Young Jay Lee. Collapsing the chest of Brent Banks, who has no choice but to roll to the outside and try and catch his breath. Veteran move by Banks. He's not a man you will see make a mistake in that wrestling ring. Lee stalking Banks on the outside. Brent Banks in a lot of trouble. Young Jay Lee going for the boot. Missed off balance and then Brent Banks spiking Young Jay Lee's face off the apron. Banks so cool and collected. Trying to get Brad Myers to be a little cooler. Not sure that's going to be a battle for win. Brent Banks with a vicious knife edge chop to Young Jay Lee. That sound ricocheting all around this arena. Now Banks right out in front of the Barry Wrestling. Faithful with another vicious chop. Breaks Brad Myers' count. Remember, Brent cannot win the title with a count out. Young Jay Lee with a couple of knife edge chops. Banks felt that. And then Banks felt that as well as he just chopped the ring post. That ring post has zero give. Oh, but Banks with a diving shot to the back of Young Jay Lee coming back into the ring. Brent feeling his... Shaking out his left hand there. He might have broken his finger on the ring post. Could have broken his whole hand. Banks sending Myung Jae Lee in. Caught him with a clothesline coming back. Banks into the cover. Still favoring that hand though. Couldn't get a proper cover on the champ. Banks still tried to get feeling back in that left hand. Banks is a southpaw striker predominantly. And he's trying to stomp on Myung Jae Lee's hand. Maybe trying to even this up. But Lee gets to his feet. Now Brent's going to use the other hand. No, he's going to stick with the left hand. Willing to take the pain in order to dish out the punishment. And then Brent Banks choking Myung Jae Lee with the middle rope and posing 
at the same time taking some time to ask the crowd to be quiet and now just bending Myung Jae Lee backwards through the ropes and standing on Myung Jae Lee's throat using the full four count as Myung Jae Lee just flopping onto the apron and then gets dumped unceremoniously onto the floor Brent Banks again taking the time to pose and bow this is all part of his game plan he wants Myung Jae Lee thinking that he's already lost this match, that Banks doesn't even need to take him seriously. Well, Myung Jae Lee fighting from the bottom, but a clubbing left hand from Brent Banks. You talk about Banks' incredible athleticism, but he's also a master of the mind games, and we're seeing that play out with this slow, methodical pace he's taking it to the champ with. And I couldn't help but notice the reach advantage during that, during that exchange. Myung Jae Lee from his position was just catching Brent Banks with the end of his strikes and then Banks just clubbed him with a forearm to the back. Brent Banks has to have an 8 to 10 inch reach, uh, reach advantage in this matchup. And that's huge. That's huge in any combat sport. To be able to hit your opponent when they cannot hit you. Although that was a knee in close. That might have caught Myung Jae Lee right in the throat. Because he's trying to catch his wind and Brent Banks taunting the crowd, telling them and Myung Jae Lee that Banks is leaving with the title. And there again, Myung Jae Lee just not able to reach Brent Banks. And Banks reaching Myung Jae Lee with a boot to the face. Banks, of course, a former 400 North Tag Team Champion. But correct me if I'm wrong, ben, Brent Banks has never held singles gold here in Barrie. He has not. There are many times where I think if he had been given the title opportunities, he would have won gold on multiple occasions. Well, he's got the chance tonight. Here in the main event at Back to School 9. Thank you so much for joining us on IWTV or wherever you are watching. Series of chops and paintbrushes from Banks. Myung Jae Lee trying to fight back. But Banks is holding him at bay. Oh, but there Lee gets a couple of shots to the gut. Shoves Myung, or Brent Banks off the second rope. Banks comes right back, the left to the gut. Right to the solar plexus. Now what Brent Banks looking for here? Myung Jae Lee trying to fight him off. Oh, Banks has got him hooked though. This could be really bad for the champ. Unbelievable. Superplex off the top and Brent Banks holds on. Oh, Myung Jae Lee counters the suplex of his own. Where did that come from? A last gasp from Young Jae Lee. I hope we can see a replay. There we go. Thank you. Massive superplex. Banks rolls through, but somehow Young Jae Lee turns it into a suplex of his own. Brent Banks is stunned. Young Jae Lee, though, he's in all kinds of trouble. Brent Banks is six something. Those ring ropes are another five feet high, so Myung Jae Lee just basically fell out of a first story window onto his back. Second story window. Just like your wedding night. And now Myung Jae Lee giving Brent Banks a bit of his own medicine, dodging those wild strikes, and then a series of strikes and chops, and then a kick to the leg. That spinning kick missed, and Brent Banks with a vicious left elbow to the jaw. Slicing elbow. I'm surprised he didn't cut Myung Jae Lee open. Uh, Lee though showing his quickness, kick to the face. Now Myung up on top, Brent Banks on unsteady legs and then a shotgun missile drop kick from the Three Pistols champion. Lee not giving Banks the chance to breathe, chasing him to the outside, cannonball off the apron. Myung Jae Lee struggling to get Brent Banks into the ring. He is looking for a pinfall. He doesn't want to win this by count out. Lee off the ropes. Code red! Code red from Young Jay Lee into a cover! Brent Banks kicks out at 2 and 99%. Let's take another look at this code red. I cannot believe Brent Banks kicked out of that. Unreal impact by the champion, Young Jay Lee. An innovative offense from Young Jay Lee. I have never seen him do either of those last two maneuvers. 
He is pulling out all the stops, but it's because he understands the stakes here. This is a match that will define Young Jay Lee's title reign. Uh, Banks trying to find him, couldn't find him. Into a roll up though, Banks, nice counter. And you're absolutely right, this might be the most important match Young Jay Lee has had since he won the title. Oh, Lee there. There's Hot no Banks. Mind about it. This is the most important match of Young Jay Lee's career. Oh, Banks sidestep. Blue Thunderbomb. And Young Jay Lee able to kick out Brent Banks, unable to get his feet over Young Jay Lee's shoulders. We'll see it here. Blue Thunderbomb up and down and just not able to get tight enough to get his feet on the shoulders. Myung Jae Lee able to get the shoulder up and survive for now. This match is almost like a video game where you're able to take two absolute stars of different eras and put them in their prime. Because Brent Banks was gone for four years and he doesn't look like he's missed a day. It's incredible the shape he's in, his ring conditioning, the speed and the viciousness of Brett Banks. So yeah, Brent Banks is prime. If you're watching on IWTV, once this match is done, go search Brent Banks, find the oldest match you can, and tell me if he looks any different. This man has been in his prime, and a great sliding there, face buster by Banks, just another two count. He's been in his prime for what, 12, 13 years now? The crowd might disagree. We say this a lot, John Atlas is probably still the best pure athlete in Barry Wrestling, but if anybody here can give him a run for his money, it is Brent Banks, who's in the ring right now. You just can't help yourself with the puns, can you? Still not on purpose. Right. And but in the ring, series of forearm shots, Myung Jae Lee firing up and just trading blows with Brent Banks. Brent Banks has lost his distance. He is staying in the pocket with Myung Jae Lee. Their bicycle kick. And one return from Young Jay Lee, the champion, caught Banks. And he caught the kick. Oh! 360 knee from Brent Banks. And then a straight kick to the, I don't know if it was the head or the shoulder, but it stunned Brent Banks. Lee ducks the clothesline. Springboard cutter from Brent Banks. Vintage Brent Banks. And again a two count. Brent Banks springboarded three quarters of the way across the ring. We've got to see that replay. Take a look at this. Banks leaps almost before Myung Jae Lee comes off the ropes. Unreal timing. This man, everything about Brent Banks is pure offense. He just, he creates offense out of thin air. For anybody watching this going, I just what I got out of the way. Brent Banks was flying across the ring at full speed before Myung Jae Lee knew it was happening. That is impeccable timing from Brent Banks. But the crowd is getting to him. I don't know what Brent was expecting when he came back to Barry, but it is clearly bothering him. He was expecting what I expected, that fans would acknowledge this incredible career he's had here. A left hand Brent Bank from Brent Banks to G Myung Jae Lee, who is sitting on the top rope. Again, I keep highlighting the height and the size advantage. They're almost eye to eye with Myung Jae Lee sitting on the top rope. Brent Banks, what are you doing here? What? Brent, what do you have planned? I don't know, but it's not going to end well for the Three Pistols champion. Both men on the second rope now. Brent pulling Myung Jae Lee into a fireman's carry while standing on the second rope. Incredible balance and strength from Banks, but took a little bit too long. Lee with a counter with some elbows. This might be saving his title, might be saving his career. Myung Jae Lee changing positions here. Dangerous spot for both of them. Looks like Lee's going for a hurricane round, but Banks counters. Young Jay Lee is caught. Banks waving the finger, saying no. Muscles Lee up. Eye to eye. Oh my god! Hurricane Rana off the top rope by Myung Jay Lee. A psycho knee from the champion. Oh, Brent Banks. We've seen this before. Banks is in the drop zone. Young Jay Lee up on top. Double stomp. Grabs the arm away from the ropes, but did not hook the outside leg in the ring awareness of the veteran Brent Banks to break the count with the bottom rope. Young Jay Lee made a great decision there, grabbing the arm, but did not get the leg. Here is the double stomp. 
that has finished so many matches from Young Jay Lee. Yeah, you see what just happened there? Banks rolled towards the ropes. He knew exactly where he was in the ring. He knew the pin was coming. He saved energy by just being able to get a foot on the ropes. Incredible savvy on the part of Brent Banks. Brent Banks staying alive in this matchup, but now eating these kicks to the chest. Lee wound up for that one, but off the mark. Rear waist lock from Banks. There's that reach. He just almost like dealing with a child. Oh, but big chop to the chest, Myung Jae Lee, and again, stunning Banks. Oh, that super kick caught Myung Jae Lee flush. Lee might be unconscious right now. I do see him moving. That kick caught him right on the chin. Now Banks going to the top rope. He's looking to fly. Took a little bit too long and then lost his footing. Brent Banks, I don't know if it's a distraction from the crowd or what happened there, but you could see his left leg just slip off the rope. Release German suplex off the top. Brent Banks landed directly on his head. This ring is 16 by 16, and Myung Jae Lee almost threw Brent Banks clean out of it. Myung Jae Lee's dropped. He He's got the knee it. pad. Knee pad down to psycho knee again. Turn Brent Banks inside out. The Banks still not down. Banks fighting with everything he's got. Lee back up on top. Double stop again. Right in the middle of the ring. Young Jay Lee is still your Three Pistols champion. the all-time greats stepped into this ring to decide who the best belt machine was and it's that man young jay lee still your very wrestling three pistols champion diamond jim this was my dream match and it lived up to every expectation i had brent banks i hope it's not another four years till we see you again but for tonight the man that matters Still the longest reigning Three Pistols champion in Barry Wrestling history, Young J. Lee. This has been back to Mike, school. Mike, I gotta interrupt you. We've just had breaking news. Trent Seven has accepted the challenge of Gabriel Fuerza. So on October 7th, it will be Seven versus Fuerza right here in Barry Wrestling. Unbelievable. What? What a match! Gabriel Fraser, the Mr. Everything of Barry, and Trent Seven. I can't wait. And the wedding of Kyle and Shiloh. That's coming up, Barry Wrestling, October 7th. Don't you dare miss it!